month. Breast cancer affects more than 200,000 women in the U.S. every year. Each year, about 44,000 women will die from breast cancer. What you eat could affect your risk. Our registered dietitian, Lori Meyer, joining us to talk about this. So I think, do you hear this question often about meat yes. affecting, affecting yes. your risk? Well, you know, because there have been some conflicting studies on this, and so people think they cannot eat red meat, and that's really not true. What we're really looking at, what the studies showed, is that the type of meat and how it's cooked can affect breast cancer. Okay. Processed meats, so your bacon, your sausages, any you processed... You point to me when you say bacon. Well, because I know you love bacon. Lunch meat. Lunch meats, and also fried meats, so if, uh, like fried chicken, mm -hmm. fried fish, and then also how long it's cooked. So the longer it's cooked and the more well done it's cooked, that's where we tend to see the increase in risk. Uh, Grass-fed meat, on the other hand, showed no increased risk at all. So we're wondering if maybe it's the hormones in the meat that could mm. be driving some of that, as well as just the overdoneness. It increases some carcinogens in it as well. Marinating the meat could help. And then they found that drinking green tea with your meat is actually going to reduce your risk. So green tea with everything. I see a lot of cruciferous vegetables on the table before us, Lori. Tell us about the foods we can eat so to bring down the risk. There's no one food that's going to prevent 100% or cure 100%, but there are some things that we really should add to the diet. And I have three categories. Cruciferous is the first one. Okay. There's so many compounds in cruciferous vegetables. There's indole-3-carbonyl, there's DIM, you know, there's sulforaphane. I mean, there's all these compounds. What they're doing is deactivating some of the estrogen, kind of detoxifying it for us. They prevent the breast, cell, uh, breast cancer cells from, from growing. So mm. you get cruciferous vegetables. If, you know, whatever else you don't do, do this at least. Get them in and try to get them in on a regular basis. I have broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprout, turnip. Those are the main ones that people eat, but any cruciferous will do. Mushrooms are the second category. Surprising. Mushrooms also have some compounds in them that actually help to deactivate some of the, the mm. uh, breast cancer um, cells. The button mushrooms more effective than any of the other mushrooms. The plain old humble plain old button mushroom. The little white button Let's we never saw. Let's do fruit. We're running the out of time Berries here. are also the other other uh, category. Strawberries in particular, they have compounds that actually help to bind these carcinogens and help to, to prevent the breast cancer cells from growing. So try it any way you can. Roasting vegetables is a great way. I have roasted Brussels sprouts because I know you love them. Baked potato. Uh, I have a baked potato. Here I have some, a little, a little cheese and broccoli sauce. It's a way just to start getting some broccoli in the diet. Or if you're adding any salad, add some broccoli. I have broccoli and cauliflower in a tortellini okay. salad. I made a curried cauliflower dip. And this is with uh, some almonds and some cauliflower and and um, yogurt and some curry spices. And then I also have a mushroom pate, mushrooms and walnuts, and uh, some um, Parmesan cheese. Can. And then saute mushrooms and put them on a salad instead of meat. For some people, that's just a wonderful, right. wonderful thing. But as I said, wash it all down with green tea because <laughs> yes. the green tea is showing tremendous effects. Lori Meyer, thank you. Got a question for Lori or any of our experts? Email, ask the expert at tmj4.com or call that number right there.